Walking Dirty After Dark with Mr. Micah King. This is awesome. This will not be the intro, but it sounds good to start the show. This will not be the intro, but it sounds good to start the show. The Talking Dirty After Dark podcast is about to begin! I am your host, Mr. Micah King. Let me get my voice right. You know, I got to have my voice together when I'm doing the Talking Dirty After Dark podcast. I got two special guests with me today. Very dirty, very nasty. One of them, one of them is a total star. Before porn, he was a star before porn. And the other one, she is just kinky. She just likes talking about sex. She likes to talk about naughty things. Now, does she do them? I don't know, but that's what we're here to find out in the Talking Dirty at the Dark Podcast. <laughs> well, we make your dreams come true, baby. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourself, brother. Uh, bro, I, I, how do you say your name, Justin? What do you so, like to be called? So, so my name is Justin. Talking to Mike a little bit more. Talking to Mike. All right, here we good. <laughs> right. I told them I'm kind of old news to this, right? Yeah, just, yeah, just, just right into it. Just Okay. So my name is Justin. Appreciate it, sis. But they call me Brother to the Night. Um, if y'all remember that movie Love Jones, um, if you remember the if you remember the uh, poem that he did, I am literally that brother, you know. Who am I is not important, but they call me Brother to the Night. I have the blues in your left eye, so I can become the funk in your right. Okay. Is that all right? Okay. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. That's what we, we want to get the blues in your left. And you're right. <laughs> Amen. And who are you, young lady? I am Queen France. Queen France. Her name just sounds so beautiful, and she is too. What are you from, Queen France? I'm from Baltimore. Yeah. Yes. They make them like you in Baltimore. Yep. Nice and juicy. Nice and juicy and chocolate. Yes. Full fledged woman. <laughs> just want to chest to chest with you. Just. You are that one that I can practice tantric with. I do not mind staring deep into your eyes while making slow love to you. You just, you have that <laughs> that aura about you. Your energy just says, choke me, but fuck me soft and slow. Is that how you like it? Yes. yes. Like, so what is your ideal sexual experience? <sighs> Let me get a drink real quick. <laughs> she got a drink. <laughs> She got to take a drink on that because she finna get real deep. Really? Just like she likes it. Isn't that right, friends? Yeah, I like when they go real deep. You got to say that into the mic. See, she's so shy to get all up in the mic. Put the mic on your mouth. Like, I want to see how my lips are on the mic and when I'm talking. <laughs> you can do the same thing. I'll wash these covers off. You good. I'll wash them with Fabuloso. Oh, you washed it with Fabuloso? I'll wash, no, not with Fabuloso, but, you know, it sounded good. Oh, okay. It sounded yeah. real good. It sounds, uh, yeah, it sounds real good. Yeah, you got that voice that sound. Are you a moaner? Yeah. Are you a screamer? Or what type of person are you when you come? Um, basically, I'd be an actress. You're an actress. Explain. A lot of times they don't be good. Mm. So I gotta make the guy feel good. Mm. So I pretend a lot. What size should you wear? A nine. That's why you have to pretend a lot. A lot of men can't fill up a size nine. Most women are size six, six and a half, seven, and they're a little easier to fill up than a size nine because a size nine means you got a fat, deep pussy. Uh, once you get past over seven and a half, that shows the depth and the, I, I, I guarantee you that's your issue. Men don't fill you up. It's always some, some something that's stopping you from getting to your peak. Am I wrong? No, no. That's, you, you, you probably talking about the ones with the little uh, baby toe penis. Not the baby toe penis. The baby toe penis, the ones that, that I can thumb raise with my finger. Oh my. I don't like those ones, but those are the ones that I got to actually pretend that it's good to. Uh, but those are the ones you were talking about then? Yeah, the, the, the little ones. The, the little ones that it just feel like they stopped growing when they were about five months old. Well, well, what's the average size for you? Um, the average size between like six and you know, I guess about six and eight. 
six and eight. Yeah, six six inches. Inches. So yeah. eight. So six inches would do you good. Yeah, that's good. That's good for you. Yeah. But the little shit is under six. Yeah, like the one inches. But what what about you, uh, brother, to the night? Mm -hmm. what, how do you feel about women's vaginas? Do you? <laughs> Do you feel like you can fill them up and it's too easy to fill up or you can't get your dick all the way in? Because I do have that problem where I don't like it if I can't get my dick all the way in. I don't want it to go halfway in and feel like I'm fucking, I don't know. I just, I don't know. What's your, what's your opinion? So I, I can feel that. But um, personally, me, I like to take it slow because I know once the head goes in and you actually feel my girth, that's when the facial expressions change. That's when those natural body movements that she can't control, I got control of. So me personally, every chick that I've been with, the majority of the time is tight just because of my girth. But once we get into it, once I get her comfortable, once I get her wet enough, then we can really have some fun. So so you like to have fun with it, but you like to please them? Oh yeah, all the above. I'm a true pleaser by nature. What's your sign? Gemini. So you say Gemini's Gemini. are true pleasers by Gemini, nature. Gemini, we do that thing. I'm telling you now. Let's give a shout out to all the Gemini's out there that are Gemini pleasers gang, 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 by gang. nature. What's up, you say? I just said you Are y'all pleasers by nature? Because you be faking. No, we please. Y'all please? Yes. I don't know. I've never heard about that. Because yeah. what's your sign again? I'm a Sagittarius. Sag. Yes. Sag. Okay, I have heard Sag is yeah. pleasers because I have experienced. We freaky, some Sag. It, real freaky. I ain't heard that part though. I haven't like I have. So let me. Okay, okay, brothers and tonight. Mm -hmm. What's one of the freakiest experiences that you have had? Being a Gemini, being not two-sided, but there is a conservative side, but there is that funk in your left side. You know what I'm saying? So what are one of your freakiest experiences that you have had? And so for me, I have a problem with that word freaky because what's freaky to me is the norm to me. So I feel like if you're not freaky or normal, as I put it, then you're vanilla. That means you're not doing what you're supposed to do in the bedroom. But... <laughs> Well, in play because yes. a lot of people do not know that they are vanilla. Vanilla. Very vanilla. Only no missionary. Only no back shots. I mean, I know that's the thing now with the whole back shot movement. Da, da, da. But personally, I think what freaky would be is lingual massages or, you know, getting your booty hole licked while you're getting your dick sucked. You that would probably be like, I guess, considered freaky. If you will. What is a linger massage? Lingum massage. Lingum spell it. So that's. Lingum, that's a good question. I don't want to spell it wrong because we only you know what I'm saying. Okay, I got but you. pronounce it out. Sound right. Because I, I didn't get a lot of our hey, Google it. Google, Google, it. Google it, right? Google it. Google so they want to know lingam. Lingam massages. So basically, that is prostate play. That is the male G spot, you know. So basically, the woman is giving you a massage. Exactly. How does she do that? From the inside of your ass or playing with your ass in general. Give an example. Like, does she use her finger, her tongue, a toy? What do you mean? Majority of times, a finger or your tongue. Have you ever done that, friends? Yes. Explain how you did it, because that's perfect. That because he can he can only give an example of where you know from experiencing it. You can give an example of giving the pleasure as a Sagittarius. Well, basically, I'll just go like lift the balls, go underneath the balls, give it a couple of strokes with my tongue, go back and forwards, back and forwards, and then they like like when I lift them, they nuts. Oh, you gotta play with the ball. The ball. That gooch area. They love they it. Gooch, like, the they gooch. love it. They just be like, oh, baby. It's, that's, it keep going. Then you suck it. Then go back to it. Then lick it and suck it. And then Look, let me take a commercial break real quick. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> We finna make some magic in this room. It's finna go down. He is a porn star, ladies and gentlemen. So, so brother, to the night, mm -hmm. let me ask you this, because some women don't like sizes five and under. Mm -hmm. What size are you exactly? Honestly, I couldn't tell you that because I've never measured my dick. Give an estimate. But an estimate would be from my pinky to my thumb, and my girth is as big as my three fingers. I can't hear you say it in the mic. Can you So, for me, my... Oh, shit, came closer. So, my length is from my pinky to my thumb, and my girth is three of my fingers. It's six or it's six inches around the circumference. The only reason I know that because somebody wrapped a dollar around my dick one time and it was like, oh, this is cool. So do you think you can handle something like that? And that might be too small for you, friends. No, that's a good that's a good That's nice that's a good nice size. Yeah. So do you prefer to ride those nice sizes or would riding be riding those sizes be too much for you? Yeah, I like to ride it, uh take it out, taste it. Put it back, mm. taste it some more, ride it. Do you 
all types of different activities. What is your writing technique? Because a lot of women ride differently. Um, and what I would like to do is actually get you to stand up and show your writing mm -hmm. technique, if mm -hmm. that's okay. Yeah. Do you because need to be a big prop? That's all I mean. uh, I wasn't. I was just going to have you on the sofa. Okay. Okay. Because I just like to see, okay, it's easy, it's hard to say, oh, I do it like this. But it's like, okay, show, how do you ride? Right. See, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm going to save that for people, you know, save that for another day. I'm going to save that for another day. Yeah. Oh, that was not a joke. Oh, she was serious. <laughs> Oh, no, never mind. There it is. That's the one. So, look, that's, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of hurt about that. We was really, well, can we at least see your outfit? Like, you're looking so good. We want to see this chocolate queen. <laughs> He's next. Oh, yeah, hey, look. That, that, that. What's your opinion on her? How would you rate her as on a 1 to 10 from the neck down? Outstanding. Outstanding. He wouldn't even use a I mean, number. until you see the circumference, that's all I'm going to say. That's what we're trying to get to see, but she's, she's trying to be shy, but I she mean, ain't going to be too shy. We're in a comfortable, safe space. It's, it's, good. Good. it's, it's a safe space. Behind the spot. Yeah, you know, but, yeah. Let's go to the next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> the next question was, what type of outfit are you wearing? I'm just wearing a see-through lingerie. It's a it's see-through. See-through lingerie thong. It's it's a see-through. Oh, that's not, I thought those were shorts. Oh, no, this is not shorts. Stand up, let me see. I bet you do want to see it. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I'm trying, man. Nice I'm trying nice to, nice to you know, people trying to see the show and they're trying to hear the sexy talk. So I'm, I'm trying right. for the audience, you yeah, know. It's, it's, it's too see-through. It's too see-through? Yeah, you? it's like everything is just see-through. So I can't give that to the audience right now. What's wrong with it? When, when can you give it to the audience so they can pull up? Mm. Tell them to DM me. Tell them to DM. Where, where can they DM you at? Official Queen France. At Official Queen France? Yes. That's where they can DM you at right yes, now, yes, huh? Yes, yes, Shoot her to DM, fellas. She might slide in your DM back. I'm not for sure. But what, what about you, brother, to the night? Can, can we see the bullets? Do you got bullets in the guns? Are the guns unloaded? Or, uh, what you, not that gun. Not that oh, one. Shit. Oh, not that one. Put that one down. Sorry. Not that one. <laughs> Bro, I thought it. Hey. He the strapped y'all. The don't that would have been that. He strapped. Oh, that would have been that. I was too late for it. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. But what about you going flex for him one time though, man? Let's see what the bullets and the guns. What what kind of bullets he working with? I'm sure our audience would love to see a strapping, dark skinned, bald headed brother. That how tall are you? I'm six four. Six four. How much you weigh? Two thirty five. Two thirty five. How much body fat? I don't know about it. I don't think it's nobody. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Hands off, ma'am. That's Hands off, ma'am. Right we was touching muscles you. Right you would be tripping. She just wanted to get a little touch on her. That's okay. what she thinks she'd slip. <laughs> is, is this chest hair, is it rough? Or what type of chest I hair? I don't know. I ain't touch it. Go ahead and touch it. You touch it every day. I can touch it? Yes, you can touch it. Go ahead. Oh, shit. How is it? Is it soft? Is it hard? Is it, what is it? Oh, shit. She enjoying that. She enjoying that. Oh, okay. She's happy now. I told her she's smiling. She's glad she came to this show. I sent her a picture and she was like, yeah, what time I need to be there? I got some topics I want to talk about. I will be there. He going to be there. I'm glad she came. I'm, I'm glad she came too. I got, I got big hands, so it's just yeah. like, like someone would feel that, my hands. That picture that I got? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. That's, I look. I think I I think I'll put it on like a string save or something. Did you? Yeah, but let me show you. I think she has a new fan. No, I really do. Oh, here oh, he go right here. Dead serious. Bruh, I, I sent that to my friends. Like, did you see this? Well, happy new year. You know? Happy new year. Praise God. Amen and amen. So, so have you ever thought about doing a calendar, Justin? A calendar? Um, honestly, no, I haven't. I haven't even... I haven't even thought about that. I didn't even think, uh, know calendars was still a thing. You know, I've heard about them, of course. You know, I've heard, you know, swimsuit models, different models and stuff. You know, they have the brothers in the construction and fire fighters and shit. But I've never thought about doing a calendar. Um, you're welcome, first of all. But <laughs> second of all, yeah, I think that would be a good idea because a lot of women are looking for what you have to offer. Mm -hmm. And I think that they don't give a fuck about the date, but they just want to see you. They just want to see. Right. And that's how a lot of women are. A lot of mm -hmm. women are mentally. They're definitely, they want to fantasize. Even if they, when they can't have you is mm -hmm. when they want you more. Right. Um, and I think that a calendar would be great. And once again, uh, 
You're welcome. I like it. I appreciate that. No problem, yeah. brother. That's what we're here for, dog. You know what I'm saying? Um, but what about you? Uh, would you think about doing a calendar yourself? or? I was, I was just thinking about how his calendar would be. What, what, and what would you think about when you were thinking about his calendar? How that, uh, that cucumber stick up in there. That cucumber? That what would cucumber stick up like that. Yeah. What would you do to that cucumber? Oh, Lord. Give me, give me three examples of what you would do to that cucumber. Mm. Taste it. You would taste it? Feel it. Feel it? Lick it. Lick it. That's the same as tasting. Licking and tasting is the same. You got to eat another one. Ride it. You would ride it. Oh, she a rider. She I don't know if she's a rider, though. She don't look she like she's a West Qu Estuquarian. How you say it? Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius. is a horse rider. She's ready though. Like she's she don't want to sit up because she look gooey over here. That's what it is. You might see no. something on that chair when she's wet. Spot. Up. It's a little wet spot. Man, ain't got his beard for no reason. Uh oh. You need somebody to you know clean up. I don't know. She really seems like that type that would take care of you. Like you just lay there and I'm gonna do everything. Uh, mm -hmm. Because she said she was familiar with that certain type of massage. What was it called again? A lingam. A lingam massage. Lingam massage. She was uh, familiar with that. So mm -hmm. are you that type that kind of just like you prefer to be in control? And in charge in the bedroom? Um, no, I, it can go both ways. It can go both ways. But I like to just have fun in the bedroom. Give an example of fun. Like, I just like, lay back. Damn, she's aggressive. Like yeah, that. like, lay back, nigga, lay back. That sounds a little controlling. That doesn't sound like, that sounds like I like to be dominant. I'm a, so do you choke a guy while you're no. riding him? No, no. But, so you don't like being choked either? Yeah, you can choke me, you can pull my hair. It depends what type of mood I'm in. It depends who it is. Because everybody can't pull my head and choke me and shit like that. Give me an example of somebody who cannot. Some somebody I just met just wanted to hook up with. You can't don't be doing all that. Don't be pulling my hair. So you have had one night stands? Yeah, but um You don't want to talk about that. Whatever. Oh, that was that drug night in Miami. Right. <laughs> oh, that's what that was. The drug nights in Miami. How old were you your first one night stand? I don't remember. It was just something to do. You don't know how old you were. So you only had one. <laughs> real ass questions, man. I, I remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember no more nice things. I don't remember. For a person that doesn't. When I wake up, that should be over with. I don't know what happened. So you've never had the shit fucked out of you oh, during that one night stand. Right. That's my question. Have you ever had a good one night stand? Oh, yeah, I did have one. Okay. I did have one. What you happened? don't have one good one, I say. I had one. And what happened? It was good. I'm ready to call him tonight. You don't gotta make no calls? Yeah. It's a whole new I mean, one night stand. Right. right. No, why be good? Why be great? Exactly. Right. What you trying to I can guarantee. guarantee. You know what? Never mind. I won't even a whole resume. I won't even pat him on the back like that. I ain't even gonna toot his horn like that, because I'll let you toot it. You know? <laughs> she had to get an extra feel of she cannot keep her hands to herself. I'm sorry. Pour her some more wine, somebody. Pour her some more wine. Ooh, uh, shout out to Giselle somebody Wine. Give me some ice. Somebody, shout out to Giselle Wine. Here you go. That's very good. Oh my gosh, thank you. That's a little, that's a little. You put a little squeeze in there. I got you. Yeah, hold on, wait. Let me get, let me, let me get some coffee, too. This wine is pretty good. I like it. Yeah, yeah, this is Giselle Wine, man. This brother is in Atlanta. You can get him online. Go to his Instagram, Giselle Wine. That's actually the only wine that I drink. It is the shit. Um, bottoms up, motherfuckers. Hey. But yeah, she can't keep her hands to herself. She's a very touchy feely person. I like touchy feely. Let me ask you this, um, friends. Uh, did you lose your virginity before you jacked the guy off, or did you jack the guy off before you lost your virginity? Interesting. I like it. I lost. No, I lost my virginity first. So you lost your virginity first. Yeah. So let me ask you, how old were you when you first kissed? Um, seventeen. You were seventeen. Your first kiss. No, I, no, it was sixteen. Sixteen. Your first kiss. Yeah. How really? old were you when you lost your virginity? <laughs> wow, so you were considered a late bloomer. Yeah. Damn, so what the fuck was I doing then? Right. <laughs> and where did you grow up at? 
I grew up in Baltimore, Maryland. You grew up in Baltimore. That's why I'm trying to let everybody see how yeah. amazing you are and you're being so shy right now. You, all of that. So you ain't get all of that till later on. Yeah, as I got older, like. So did you have any plastic surgeries or anything to that nature? No. So you, you, all of that is natural. Yeah, I'm getting surgery next month. What kind of surgery are you getting next month? I'm gonna get my stomach, my back done. Let me see a book. Can I get a before so I can, uh, uh, a now look it's, so I can see I'm, before I'm, and after? I told you that my outfit is see through. I That's the point. It's the talking no, no, nerve. This, this is, is not, not going to be on YouTube. This is this cannot. No, my outfit is see through. Like no, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen it, so I promise you. I, 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 I blinked. It's delicious and and looks very nutritious. I, I blinked and I didn't I didn't see it at all. I'm so disappointed about that. Yeah, I, I was on the wrong button, but what's wrong with that one? It's see through. I, I can't put everything on. Uh, on OnlyFans, you can't put it on the talking girl. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm the only one. I'm the only one that got the whole OnlyFans is out. Asshole, dick, balls, everything. But what's your only? Oh, name? what's your so only? So my, she's ready now. She got excited. Yes. But on um, mine's is just call me daddy. Just call you. Just call me daddy. Just call Ex, you daddy. Just call me daddy. Let me let me say that. Go ahead, go ahead. Just call you daddy. Mm -hmm. I think it's me, not you. She want to call it whatever she want to call it. She going to get your Instagram after this and say contact her. Hey, that's fine. We're going to. Justin. Just call me daddy. There you go. That's it. You're welcome. Hey. hey. Thank you, my brother. You know, that's what we here for. I'm light skinned. Network, man. Skin. Network. We, we, and that's what it's all about, man. Black people networking. We got um, you. Honestly, that's that's really what it's all about. Um, You got, you got it now? Yes, I have it. You have it? I locked it in. You locked it in. Locked I'm gonna pass it to my friends. Yeah, yeah, pass it down. Cause they might want to see me too, Daddy. I mean, you know, I mean, he he's local work for hire. Oh yeah. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. He yeah. does he okay. does bar mitzvahs. He does house parties. He does hey. bachelorette parties. Look, I'm a chef too, and I cook. I ain't got into that yet. Let me oh, I ain't got to your part of the interview. I ain't got to your part of the interview. Damn. I'm a quick I'm a quick shooter. Dog. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> So he can cook and he can bake? He does it all. Cook and bake and No, 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 no. Check, check this out. He can cook and he can eat. Hey! Hey! Oh, shit! Uh, my hey. dog does it all. Mm. My dog does it all. He is the one, when I was at a lingerie party, right? Mm -hmm. So it was a beautiful lingerie party. You know, uh, shout out to the, uh, the the person who threw the lingerie party. It's great. Every one of them are fucking amazing. I don't mm -hmm. get paid, so I ain't promoting. But it was a great fucking lingerie party. If you wasn't there, it's your fault because it was, what, 16 dudes? Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many women were there. I mean, it's fucking amazing. Man, it was a lot. It was a lot, I'm mm -hmm. talking about. But the first one, I think, that I saw you at was better than that, the last one that I saw you at. Mm -hmm. But this dude had the woman on the table. He had it on the second one, too. Um, he had the 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 pineapple pussy was the one that stood. Mango, mango, the mango, the mango pussy, yes. mango pussy, pussy yes. was the one that stood. So wait a minute. Go ahead, explain it to me. Tell me, please. So I, I'm gonna show her. If you pull up my Instagram, hey, I can you, show you. But we all can't see it. So go ahead and verbally explain it for me. So literally, I took a mango. If you take a fresh ripe mango, then you already know it's very succulent, it's very plump, and it's very juicy. So you literally just cut it into a pussy. Me personally, I love fat ladies, so I made my mango pussy very fat. So, cut it up. It looked literally just like a fat pussy. What else did you, what other fruits and vegetables or berries or whatever, from her neck down, what did you have on? I had all kinds of stuff. Um, I had mangoes, pineapples, uh, strawberries, uh, kiwis. I had red dragon fruit, um, yellow dragon fruit. I had star, in, or star fruit. I had all kinds of stuff, grapes, cherries, blueberries. And what was the purpose of this whole project that you were doing at this party? So honestly, it was my homegirl's party. Um, it was literally just me doing a, a buffet on top of a model that was on the table. And um, she wanted a half nude or fully nude model. And all I did was adorn her with uh, my fruits for display. You adorn her? Adorn her, that oh, makes wow. it sexy. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, the left to the right. To the right. right. That's just who he is. It ain't just the same, that's his nature. So was they able to eat the fruit off of her body? Oh, did they eat? 
They yes. ate very well. So did they eat it or they just So the the host she actually did eat off her because it was her thing, but everybody else they just picked it up or you know what I'm saying? If they wanted to be an extra. I saw some girl, other women okay do it. I, 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 yeah, I, I saw some other women did do it, yeah. I know guys did it because I yeah. surely would have got that mango. But <laughs> no guys did it. Um, mm -hmm. but I did see some girls do it. It was yeah, different. They dope, and then I kinda like just dressed her with some powdered sugar, so it looked very it looked very nice. She was, it was artist, beautiful. Very dope. He, he's an artist. Mm -hmm. Um I pat him on the back for that, like for for real, for real, like you yeah. really got to shout him out. He he does a great fucking job. Um, yeah, she likes the taco meat, uh, <laughs> but he does a great fucking job. Um, he's also a chef, also. Um, and how old were you when you first started cooking? Uh, well, shit, I started early. Uh, my mom, she was in school and she had to work, so she was like, "If you're hungry, you gotta fend for yourself." So I started cooking probably about, I want to say like maybe 12, 13. 12, 13. Spaghetti? Yeah, spaghetti. How old were you when you first lost your virginity? I was 15 when I lost my virginity. So you were 15? I was 15. The first time you got some pussy? Uh, as far as my dick, yes. As far as your dick. So <laughs> you had experiences before that? Yes. Okay, oh, <laughs> what, what experiences did you have before that? Ooh, man. Because you um, got that beard pretty young, I bet. Hey, I love pussy, but <laughs> um, I'll probably want to say like maybe six, as young as about six. And what were you doing at six? So you remember, um, I'm 35. Uh, I'm Wait a minute, hold up, excuse me, stop yeah. it. Talking you said at six years old. After that, what was you doing? With Mr. Michael. So, y'all remember when we was growing up and you go to the playground, you had those um those uh cinder block or those uh concrete like little tunnels or whatnot? I definitely remember. You remember those? those? Remember those? Mm -hmm. So we me and another girl, we went inside these concrete tunnels, and I remember as a kid, I used to love to kiss. I still love kissing to this day. So I would literally tell girls like, hey, let's go in front of the table, we'll kiss or and kiss and we'll kiss and not knowing what the fuck we're doing, but we know it felt good. So I remember this one girl, we literally went inside of uh, the little, the tube or whatnot. We're kissing and touching on each other, not knowing what the fuck we're doing, but we knew it felt good. Then we continued to do it for the whole play period. And then you remember that time, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah, so that definitely. time, it, was, it, was, it wasn't, of course, you know, you had the teachers there. I still remember vividly. That's the, that's the weird thing. But, um, yeah, we will kiss, touch, and play, not knowing what we're doing. And it felt good. I don't find it to be weird that you remember it vividly. Uh, that is the purpose of my podcast because those are memories that we will never, ever never. forget out of all the never. memories. That's why I know she's bullshitting when she says she don't remember her one night stands. But since she's a woman, we have to accept it and not pressure her and do things like that because, you know, she's a woman. <laughs> but I know for a fact that our mind and our brain never forgets anything, especially those type of exciting memories versus good versus bad it doesn't matter our mind will never forget that's the beauty of our brains but that's just me in psychology you know i love me I, I, only, I got me one i only remember one night one night stand. i've had a bunch of one night stands i can't lie i had some dope ass ones but i remember one specifically specifically because this was the first time i had an international chick oh. me and her could barely speak the language uh -huh. but you know you have, language of love. exactly you know what i mean you got them come fuck me out you both had yeah, them come fuck me out in my what, 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 where was she from where the fuck was she from? Puerto Rico? No, 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 no. This was this was Ethiopian. somewhere across the water, like way across the water. Oh, so you don't like know how Swedish to spell. type chick? Oh. She was a, a Swedish type chick. So I don't know. I, I can't even remember what she was, but I remember specifically because we both we could barely understand each other, but we knew where our rooms were. We knew which hotel we was in. Oh, so this so, was one of those moments. Yes, yeah, one of those moments. So, so you were in what country? It was in Miami. So no, you were in Miami, mm -hmm. and she was visiting from out the country, right. and she wanted some American penis. Some American from black a penis. Six four black man. Black man. But were you bald then? I wasn't. I had a whole fro. Then. Oh, you had the fro. I still had a beard, but I had the fro. But you were still a six four black man. Mm -hmm. And did you give it to her like the Americans do? Oh, absolutely. I don't want to say the Americans do, but how I do, absolutely fucking do. Of course, of course. If you need a resume, I got you. You know, check my Instagram, check my Twitter. But yes, I pride myself on. Um, what I am able to do and capable capable to do in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Do you practice tantric or any other type of sexual routines to strengthen what you do in the bedroom? Um, my favorite is probably semen retention. See, so, uh, kegels and shit. So no, no, semen retention is just literally not coming or avoiding sex. Me personally, I'm not gonna avoid sex, but I'd rather just fuck her good, but not come at all. At all. As soon as you're about to come, you stop. Mm -hmm. That's like tantric. Yeah. Why do y'all do that? Because, because you don't want to come. Like so me personally, keep so doing it. yeah. But, because like we get all into it, here it goes pausing. But no, no, no. But because oh. uh, the thing that I would tell women like this is like understand that when y'all about to come, we're about to come as well. So I would rather pause, regroup, and collect myself so that you can get yours. 
That way I don't come too early and you don't get nothing. Because once I come and I go soft, I'm, I'm, I'm 35 now. I can't just pop up like that. So I'd much rather just do what we call edging and let you get to that point you're about to come. I'm going to stop collecting myself, get you back to that point, let you come, and then I'll stop again. So do you go longer than two minutes? Because these guys, these days, longer they than go, two minutes. These two guys, minutes. These, I'm not even listen, some guys go like one minute. They wake you up out of your sleep. For like 45 seconds. Hey, look, I'm, I'm over here talking to my talking to my Instagram fan right now because two minutes, I'm still in your pussy for 30 minutes. So right. I ain't even started fucking yet. Um, exactly. Like right, two minutes. We ain't even started fucking yet. Like, I want to make sure you come before my dick even smells your pussy. Two minutes? I'm um, so sorry. Bro. No, yeah, right, no, I'm, some guys will wake you up. You'll be knocked out sleep. I blame and they'll you. wake you up. I blame you, you sleep. for that, though. That got to be your fault. No, it no. got to be something that you're doing.